Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here. And do you remember when all congressional Democrats refused to condemn Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and anti-Semitism by name, even after Congresswoman Omar was making repeated anti-Semitic comments? Well, of course you do, because that happened just a couple of weeks ago. And do you remember when President Trump came out and said that uh, a couple of things, that uh, a lot of Jewish American people were probably going to be pretty upset with congressional Democrats, and that there's a possibility that a lot of these Jewish American individuals could leave the Democrat Party and end up joining the Republicans. Of course you do, because that happened right around the same time as the first thing I mentioned. All right, so um, yeah, it seems that uh, a lot of folks had thought when President Trump made that statement, folks on the left, that President Trump was crazy for saying that. Yeah, his comments don't seem so crazy now, though, because uh, this week you have congressmen, congresswomen back home in their districts, and a lot of them are holding town hall events. One of those congressional Democrats who's holding a town hall is Max Rose. He's the congressman from New York's 11th district, which represents the Staten Island area. Uh, a lot of Jewish Americans in that district. So a Congress, uh, Congressman Rose is holding this town hall event, and there were a lot of Jewish American constituents of his who showed up and told him, yeah, they were not very happy with him, not very happy that he refused to go on the record and condemning Congresswoman Omar and condemning anti-Semitism. And then you had uh, Congressman Rose clearly feeling uncomfortable. He just did not want to be on that stage. He wanted to be anywhere in the world, but on that stage facing his Jewish American constituents. And uh, Congressman Rose gives this half-hearted apology about, oh yeah, sorry, I guess uh, guess that was on me. I uh, should try and do better next time, huh? Yeah, yeah he, he of course, he can say whatever the hell he wants to. Words are one thing. Actions are another. As you know, actions do speak louder than words. And uh, until we see action from Congressman Rose and, and all of these other congressional Democrats, yeah, I'm not going to believe it because every single one of them refused to condemn Congresswoman Omar, who made such disgusting remarks uh, against uh, people who uh, many of them have Jewish American constituents in their district, and they refused to condemn the disgusting form of bigotry that is anti-Semitism. They wouldn't do it. And, and this is not an isolated incident. Time and time and time and time and time again, you see powerful Democrats refusing to go condemning one of their own, no matter how shameful it is uh, that uh, one of their own has done. I mean, they just refuse to do it. They will go to bat for their own, for their fellow uh, powerful elite liberals, pretty much regardless uh, of what that powerful elite liberal has done. So there's absolutely no reason why those Jewish American constituents in uh, Congressman Rose's district or any of us should have any reason to believe that Democrats are going to change now after we've seen a lengthy history of them just looking out for their own, their fellow powerful liberal elite in this country. It's incredibly disgusting, and I'm so glad that, that the Jewish American individuals who, who were wronged by Congresswoman Omar and were wronged by all those other congressional Democrats who refused to stand up to uh, Congresswoman Omar for them, I am so glad they are making their voices heard and, and they are expressing their anger. See, it seems that the first part of what President Trump had said is coming true, and come Election Day, yeah, it could be a very rude awakening for uh, congressional Democrats if the second part of it comes true, which it's looking increasingly likely that it will. And that's all the time that we have for today, but tune into the John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m., WTAQ, 9 a.m., WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.